This is we're shaving your donor region, okay? Okay. And then we're gonna keep the top blonde for now. And then once we get to the design phase, we'll outline your hairline for you. Okay. Your donor region is quite strong, it's really good. Okay, Robert, we just disinfected your donor region. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to outline the areas we're going to harvest your grafts out from, okay? Okay. So um, what you're feeling next is me just using the surgical marker to outline. Can I get a fresh? Your donor region is divided to nice equal size squares, okay? To a nice grid. Okay. So what you're gonna feel is a few more seconds of needle pokes in the back and the sides. It's gonna go by really quickly. And that's it. Alright. Alright, Robert, we just finished in their block. How was that for you? How painful was it can be the worst? Um little pokes here and there, but nothing too big. I would say like a five or six. Five or six out of yeah. ten? It was bearable? Yeah. It went by really quick, right? It did. All right. This is the worst part, uh, Robert, of the entire procedure. You took it like a champ. The rush should be a breeze for you. Thank okay. you. Okay? You got it. All right. Any pain, Robert? No pain? Beautiful. All right, Robert, we finished harvesting for Robert. How was that for you? Was it painful? Oh. Did you feel anything at all? Uh, I feel a little bit of pain, maybe when the needles, but I mean, from one to 10, probably like a three. Honestly, it went pretty fast. Um, fell asleep most of the time, so I recommend you guys to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the time, pa patients are up nervous the night before, so once they see so that it's not that bad that they get you know used to the environment that they choose to sleep yeah definitely i was a little nervous when i walked in but you get honestly you guys made it comfortable um, i'm glad so what we're going to do next is we're going to take a few measurements and we're going to do a design okay we're going awesome. to outline a hairline something that's going to be suitable for your features and something that we both like okay that should highlight your, your face, your eyes, your cheekbones, and your nose. Cool. You excited? Ready? I'm excited. All right, Thank let's you. do this. Awesome. Raise your eyebrows for me a bit. Robert, here's the mirror. Take a look. It's higher of a hairline than the right. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll take a few measurements and we'll make the left side match the right as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This is zone one that I'm just outlining. You want this to be double the density versus zone two, okay? Okay.
You ready to shave the rest of the hairs? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. When was the last time you had your head shaved? Oh man, I can't remember. Probably six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. You're going a little fast. <laughs> What do you think? I love it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a few final measurements. Okay. Finalize it. And then we're going to start with the incisions. Cool. All right. Thank you. You got it. All right. So what we're going to do, Robert, is we're also going to add a few softeners in the very front. Okay? Okay. Let me see. Beautiful. Looks really good. Thank you. Let me show you the mirror. Take a look at that. So this is your hairline. This is the temple angle closure. This is where the hairline needs to come in and connect to the side to give you facial framing, facial balance. All these little irregular dots you see in the very front of the hairline, those are the softeners. That's what's going to give you that tra soft transition from single hairs to the density behind the hairline, okay? okay? These are the thin areas for you. We're also going to reinforce and zone two. Mark them. I marked them when your hair was long, so this way we get to see exactly where the thinner areas are. The goal is to place around 1100, 1100, another 150 use the softeners, the rest in zone two. You like okay. it? I like it. All right. Thank you. You got it. Thank you so a few more uh, seconds of needle pokes on top. Okay. And you shouldn't feel anything. Okay. Right. After this phase, we'll break for lunch, and then we have only one more phase left, which would be the implant. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You got it. All right. All right, Robert. We're done. How was lunch? Lunch was great. Lunch was good. Yeah. What did you have? I had a uh, calamari as the appetizer and. Uh, Ribeye steak, nice. like the main entree. Awesome. Really good, thank you. Did you like it? I loved it. A really nice Argentinian restaurant across the street. Malbec. Malbec, Re that's right. So, what you're gonna see next is um, the hairline, okay? okay? Keep in mind what you see next is swollen, okay? okay. Uh, you have a lot of fluid under your scalp that will drain down the face the next few days, okay? Right. It'll start around the forehead, around the eyebrows, around the eyes. By day four or five, her face will go back to looking the way it does right now. Floor, if I could have the okay. mirror, please. Here you go. Take a look at it and tell me what you think. Keep in mind, everything is swollen. But at wow. least now you have a hairline. Wow. Okay. And the, distance, <laughs> and the distance between the eyebrows to your hairline is one third of the balance of between here and between your chin and your nose. So your face is divided to equal one thirds right now. Oh. Okay, so uh, you don't really have 
much to go. We basically have the implanting phase. Uh, that's another two to three hours and we'll call it a day afterwards. Rest of the time you'll be sitting upright, you'll be watching a movie, okay? okay? And uh, while the team implants and we call it a day. All right. You like it? I love it. All right, Thank it looks you guys. good. It actually looks great. Thank All you. right, let me take that mirror. Okay, Robert, what you're going to feel next, or should I say you won't feel it, but what I'll be doing next is just outlining certain areas of, of the design where each graft will and should be implanted, okay? Okay. So ignore these surgical markers. Within a few days, they will all disappear while you do the washes. So have a marker, please. All right, all set. Today? Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I really feel like this. Yeah? Yeah. I need to make sure. Thank you. All right, Robert. We're all done with the implanting. It turned out really amazing. Your zone one is tremendously packed. It's very dense, okay? And I think this design, this hairline, turned out really awesome for you. Thank Did you, you get a chance to see it yet? I haven't, not yet. No? Okay, a few more seconds right here. Doing a quick wipe. And I will hand you the mirror. Okay. And you get to see the finished product. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. So keep in mind, it takes about six months for you to see to grow, okay? Okay. It's going to take about a year or so to get the full results. All right. Keep in mind what you see now, mm -hmm. Robert, is swollen, it's puffy, okay? Okay. And this isn't the final hairline, it's going to be in the next four to five days. Take a look at it. What do uh, you think? I love it. You like it? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys. So this is what's going to come down in the next few days is is the puffiness. Okay. Okay, it's the solutions we use. It's going to migrate down your face. Wow. Your forehead's going to be puffy starting tomorrow night, and that's going to come down to your eyebrows, to your cheeks, then to your chin. Okay. The fluids can evaporate through your skin, so it just has to migrate down through gravity. Okay. What do you think? You like it? I love it. I think it looks fantastic. It looks really nice. It gives you a very nice facial balance, symmetry, and, and framing, and it's really packed. It's really dense. Thank you, guys. Really can't believe it. You guys are the best, honestly. You guys, you like it? I love can it. Can you believe you finally did it? I really can. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> Feels like a dream. Thank you. All right. So this is where I go. Can I get a high five? 